Hi, this is Susan Brickner Wren. I've done a couple of these little watercolors um, on these kind of rustic frames. It's just got a little clip and um, what I've used is 300 pound watercolor, uh, Arches watercolor paper, and I've kind of made my own deckled edge on a couple of sides to get it to look a little nicer finished. When you buy the full sheets, you get this, you know, beautiful edge um, that's part of the watercolor paper making process. And um, I think it looks a little bit nicer to have that natural looking edge all along. So um, Arches 300 pound is um, a good heavyweight paper that's going to hold up, um, you know, even if people are kind of handling this because it doesn't have the the glass, of course, you'd want to wash your hands before you handle anything. But I just thought I'd show real quick um, how to how I got the the look of the deckled edge um, coming off of this. So I'll set that aside. What I've done here, I've got a piece of this is the 300 pound weight arches, and um, you can see on the full size sheets. I hope it shows up. There's an impression um, of the arches, and then this was a the bright white paper. And as thick as this paper is, I can paint on the other side and maintain that stamp, which is just one of those nice ways to note quality. So my plan is to get a square a little bit bigger than six by six that'll fit nicely in another one of those frames and have that a um, little more natural looking edge. So what I've done, I measured this out and then just did my first fold um, at about six and a quarter inches. This 300 pound paper is, it's thick. It is the real deal. It's heavy stuff. So you're gonna have to put a little muscle into that. But then um, all I've done on the previous versions is really saturate that fold. So, you know, you don't need to be um, cautious about how much water you put in that fold and then work, work that back and forth and let that water soak in. And again, this paper can handle the water. Um, if I super saturate it, it gets all the way across. Uh, I'll put something over top of it just to dry it flat and let it dry kind of slowly, but uh, And then I'm gonna I've made a new kind of trough where I can put more water And just using plain clean water and now I can start I don't know if it's easy for you to tell that it's actually folding over better Um and I'm just gonna work with that a couple times. Wanna get those paper fibers, those cotton rag paper fibers to absorb some of that water and start to soften up. So just going back again. When I get to the point where I feel it's, you know, there we go. It's, it's definitely folding over better. Um, if it weren't for the video, I probably would take a, a little more time and just maybe walk away from it for a couple minutes and let that water absorb in that crease, but wouldn't be the most entertaining video. Um, and I think you get the idea. So I've got that going. I'm going to flip it to this side because this is the side, um, I'm planning on painting. Again, I want to you know, have that nice em embossing in the back. And then um, I have this edge making tool from, an, I think a now, I don't know if Creative Memories is still kind of doing business, but it's from a scrapbooking company. And I kind of use this and um, move it along. But in all honesty, if you had um, a serrated knife, then you were really careful. Um, that might be an easier thing to use. Um, you know, just if you do something with a butter knife or a serrated, serrated knife, be a little careful. But then I'm just gonna 
I hope you can see this I'm going to center. I'm going to push that a little bit and then I also um, I'll pull a little bit and you can see where I'm pulling you get that kind of feathering of the fibers. My apologies I've been gardening my fingernails are looking rough but my garden's looking great. So um, you know get a little of that feathering and that's where I'm saying you know you don't need this particular tool just something that maybe has a little bit of a play where you can get you know see how that one kind of kicked out a little bit more um, and just kind of work with it don't you know if you just fold it back and forth dry and then you pull it apart you're not gonna get that that feathering effect so I'll do that through the um, length of this fold and then um, I'll measure you know, so I get my nice square on the other side and repeat the same thing. And then there's a little more bulk of the paper. If you look at, you know, the factory deckled edge, it kind of thins out. So usually I'll do this after I've got everything done, but just, you know, go back and pull some of that fiber off. And, you know, you can kind of see how that's thinning out and kind of having that more natural look and again you know you could do this with about any mostly straight edged tool maybe you guys can put in some comments about what works better but um, and again once I finish that and get the other side going I'll probably set it under a you know heavy acrylic block or something like that and let it dry flat so that when I uh, go to paint of course I'll tape it down when I go to paint it but um, then I'll have a nice flat surface to be painting on and, you know, just kind of give myself that even border. So that's the stuff. Hope that's helpful to you guys. Have fun. Get painting.